Hello, I'm Lydia Camarillo. Tucson Electric Power is reporting a phone line outage that is impacting its customer service lines. The utility said their phone outage is caused by a large telecom provider outage. For now, customers who need to reach the company are asked to email. We have all the information on kega9.com. We have learned more than 300 City of Tucson employees could face discipline for not following the city's vaccine mandate. If you remember, they were expected to turn in their vaccination status earlier this week. We know 830 have not been vaccinated, by, but 546 have requested either medical or religious exemptions. The city tells us that leaves 354 employees who have not submitted their vaccine information or an exemption. The rest of the 354 employees are not going to be immediately suspended. Once the data is confirmed, the directors of their departments will be notified and the disciplinary process will begin on a case by case basis. Banner hospitals say right now 25% of their patients have COVID-19. Other beds are filled with those who delayed procedures at the start of the pandemic. Banner Health says the increase in patients is causing staffing issues. They're trying to hire 400 people while using outside contractors to help fill the need. Get your resumes ready for the Tucson Convention Center job fair that starts at 10 this morning. Open positions include concessions, box office ticket sellers, cashiers, and more. It will be in the Turquoise Ballroom until 6 this evening. Let's take a look at your forecast. Excessive heat will continue through at least Friday before somewhat cooler temps arrive by early next week. Isolated thunderstorms can be expected each day before an increase in storms moves in this weekend through next week.